this past week, I almost broke down. I'm here with the squad. I don't want to explain what we went through at that NBC trade. He reached my tongue, they said they had them. See the people we get sense. Hi guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It is your favorite baby girl, Mama Daina Eku and Men. And I'm currently at Oak Park and Garden. I'm here with the squad. Utibes kids are here. We've been planning this date for a very, very long time. Since Saudi, we've been planning this date. <laughs> we actually meant to be here yesterday, but then it started raining. So today, with this blazing sun, this is the perfect time to swim with the kids. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog. This is going to be a week in the life. So um, yeah, this is the day before Idel Malud. It's Idel Malud, Abi. Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow is public holiday. It's Monday. So yeah, hopefully you guys absolutely enjoy this vlog. Let's go and swim. I beg, it's too hot. Good day. How much is the ticket? One thousand per person per adult. What of kids? So we made it inside. Entrance fee is 1,000 naira for an adult and 500 naira for children um, above the age of two. If you're two and under, I don't think you'd pay. Then when we get to the swimming area, um, we still have to pay 2K per person to swim. Mm. And then there are other play things here like swings, um, play area, just different things for children. Sha. But yeah, it's, it's very serene. It's very, very serene, very lush, very green. Today is a beautiful Sunday, but the rain wants to spoil our day. We're on our way. Utiwe, say hi. See who is in front. Passenger princess. <laughs> <laughs> we are off to um, Obiwali Center here in PHC. If you know, you know. You know that NBC Trade Fair is happening this weekend. We missed yesterday's one. Everyone was busy yesterday. So today, we're linking up for a lot. After the trade fair, we're just popping in and popping out. We're not even staying for long. I just wanted to go see and have a look. Um, my makeup that is popping now is by Favis Makeover and she's already there waiting for me. So I just don't want to disappoint her just to see how they go there. Then after the trade fair, we're going for bowling. We're going to bowl. The first bowling place here in Portacourt is officially open. And yeah, we're going to go see for the first time. PH Instagram uh, buddies, they don't rinse and wash the place. So maybe we go see waiting that they see for there. See the prizes, everything, and have a good time. If there's still time, we're going raving so towards evening. Activities. So much activities today. We want to distress from, from Nigeria. So that's why we're, we're out and about today. With me is <laughs> Ebukan, so, someone that doesn't want to show his face, but you guys already know who it is. <laughs> We made it 
We made it to the trade fair. That's my brother, that's Ebuka. That's your one and only Portacourt vlogger, Yuti Ekpe, the one and only Mrs. Yuti Ekpe. We are at Dr. Obiwali Center. Um, it just rained for a bit and yeah, she's reminiscing what she did last year. She sold though, she sold out. She sold out, but unfortunately this year, she wasn't picked. We're just going to see what's happening here, what's popping. Her husband brought us actually, I packed my car at this because I don't know how wild today will be. So at least we have a responsible adult <laughs> that will put us in check because I'm planning to wild away this evening. For real, for real. I've never actually drank with this girl. Yeah, We've never actually gotten drunk, drunk ever. Right. <laughs> but she's breastfeeding, so she's not in my wild I mean, adventure. I mean, I want to even start winning. Like, don't be smarting. But yeah, let's see how the trade fair goes. Guys, I don't, I don't want to explain what we went through at that NBC trade fair, but believe me, we did not go for trade fair. Utibe knows the mission we went for. We went there to display. Anyway, guys, we just made it to 41 Onair Road here in Port Harcourt City. It's called... I love friends. The friends, I think. PH, PHC. The friends. The friends? That's, that's the reason I was... Hey, because what's the name? What's the name? PHC friends. Friends. It's a quiet place. Um, this is the whole building, as you can see. We're here to try out the first bowling in Petakwa. See my <laughs> my Chris, my Chris partner is here. I'm shocked her husband allowed us to be parambulating inside that MVC, displaying madness. But yeah, this is two over three of our event of today. Each person here is 10,000 Naira. We've actually waited for around 30 minutes-ish. It's a Sunday, so it's kind of busy and it's raining. So um, our waiting time is over. We're just going to head up here, up there, the bowling alley to go. Number one, I'm the only one, guys. Guess who won? Guess who won? Because you I was the last, so they were laughing at me. Because you they were laughing at me when I started. I was the last. They hacked it. They hacked that up. He reached my turn. They said they hacked him. See the people we get says. He reached my turn. They said they hacked him. At least I was not last, guys. It was so much fun. Like, I mean, we waited for a while. We even pissed. Waiting, but then at the end of the day, it's been fun. Like, ha, this is a great, great way to distress, great way to come with group friends. Just don't, don't reason anything, just bowl and have fun and chill out. There is an area where you can sit, like VIP area for 50,000. Did I tell you guys how much we paid? 10k, um, 10k for each person, and yeah. We had a sponsor today, Otibe's husband was our sponsor. So he was the one that sponsored us today. He was kind enough to sponsor all of us. But yeah, it's been fun. It's been a good way to just chill. Tomorrow, hey, Monday, school day starts. Five o'clock again, we wake up. The grind continues. 
Yes. We're going to rave. Rave experience. Rave experience. I don't know if this okay. woman and her husband will join us. We are in. What are you saying? You're in. <laughs> It's actually me. almost 8 p.m. No, what's the time? Oh this is 8, 8 o'clock. You guys, tomorrow is full run, so we are outside. <laughs> We're going to go and party. Today, we have to, we have to do everything today. You get rid But yeah, we're up to Elaka here. Hopefully, we have as much fun as we had here. But we are just vlogging at the same time. <laughs> morning guys this is oh my god this is almost a week since the last time i picked up this camera see see this past week has been my whole body the kids are in school now i just dropped them off not too long ago but fam Tom Dachi hasn't been to school for one week now he was the first that actually got sick like since we came back they've been sick on and off you know i've been in the honeymoon phase so it's just been everything has been good everyone has been soft i just forgot how easily one child can get sick and then spread it to the rest so that was the first person to get seriously sick like malaria sick he got treated that was two weeks ago it was just rounds of injections um i found a children's hospital close by under our insurance and yeah i went there he had these rounds of five days injections back to back morning and night and yeah i thought he had disappeared and then fever came back the day after his last injection my god i mean 39 degrees c kind of fever before you know it Yagazie yeah, started his own. Before you know it, my mama was sick. <laughs> this past week, I almost broke down. I almost broke down. Actually, some judges, um sort of malaria, whenever he has two pluses of malaria, is the admission type. Injections cannot help you. Drugs cannot help you. Whether it's syrup, whether it's tablet, cannot help you. You just have to actually admit some judges. Some judges, is AA. His genotype is AA. You know in one of my vlogs when I said thank God I'm AS, many people were laughing like why would you be thanking God you're AS? I barely fall sick because of that. I barely get malaria. I wouldn't say fall sick. I barely get malaria which is like the epidemic here. If you're living in West Africa, if you live in Nigeria, that's like it's like headache. <laughs> it's like a normal thing. And many people are actually AS here in West Africa like I know some people are like, AS? Is that not? Many Africans, you know, living in West Africa that were born and raised here have AS as their genotype. And I'm one of them. And the only thing is before you get married, you just have to ask your partner their genotype just to avoid the whole sickle cell thing. Awareness is definitely everywhere on this whole thing. But I know it can be foreign to some people like AS yes as most of us are walking as we're healthy we're normal we give birth to normal babies it's just that some elements of your blood are circled yeah you have your rounded shaped red blood cells healthy ones and then you have some that are in sickle form but if you're a sickler which is ss all your red blood cells are in sickle form and most of you already know the health um, complications that come with that but yeah some Jachi is AA, my mama is AA. The only AS child I have is Yagazi. And we both barely fall sick. And even when we get malaria with injections, with medications, in few days we're okay. But you see some Jachi, you see my mama, once they get malaria and it's two pluses, forget it. Forget it. Like you just have to do the most. So some Jachi was admitted. He was even giving quinine because it was so serious. So the whole of last week he missed school. So I've been going back and forth. The whole time he was admitted, I was still going for injections morning and night, dropping my mama off to school. Oh my God. I almost broke down last week. I was like, nah, I, I, this, I, I just can't deal with this. I cannot deal with this right now. So yeah, last week I've been in severe pains. Like I haven't had enough sleep. 2 a.m. Someone is having fever. 
So literally, I don't even sleep at night because I'm scared that somebody may be burning up to 39 degrees, 35 degrees, 37. Like it's it's been hell this past week. Like, I'm like where is my husband? 24 seven, I'm on the call with my husband. Like. There is nothing that worries a mother more than sickness. Anyway, I was this close on the verge of just breaking down when I shared on my Instagram story that <laughs> having three kids, <laughs> hey, 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 you know when you're just popping them, popping them, that stage you're only worried about pampas, milk, pampas, milk. You're not worried about anything. As they're growing, there are so many things to worry about. There are so, uh, so many things to worry about. And some of you suggested a few things um, that I can do to just prevent the whole thing. Some people said I should use ginger, lemon, just concoctions, natural remedies, of course. Instead of the normal multivitamins and vitamin C that I've already been given, which I have been given from day one since we came back. So... People were like, just try, some women on Instagram said I should try ginger, lemon, lime, uh, honey. Just do the concussion and be giving your kids three shots a week, two shots a week, that their immune system will actually be good. Most of you abroad are doing the same thing and people are saying that it's working and they're not having flu back to back or any sort of sickness or, yeah, it actually builds up their immunity. So I just want to do the concoction. <laughs> I just want to do the concoction that some of you suggested that I do. Hello? My AC, the gas is finished. Like, whenever you turn on the AC, you go, they blow hot instead of blowing cold. So, I just called an AC guy to come fill up the gas for me. Anyway, that is how this past week has been. That's why you haven't seen me for a while posting... That's why I've just gone MIA because a lot has been happening. I've been fighting serious battles offline. But I think this is just part of, you know, them getting used to the environment. For two years in Saudi or almost two years in Saudi, I never took my kids to the hospital. They weren't that sick that I took them to the hospital. You know, it wasn't... <laughs> The kind of sickness they've had in the span of three months is just been crazy. Like every month someone is sick, every month, and it's rainy season, so I think it's expected. But yeah, I easily forget how very vulnerable toddlers can be, especially now that they've started school. So yeah, let me just go do my mini concoction. <laughs> So I have lemon in here, I have ginger, lemon, lime, I currently do not have honey but this should work because I noticed that some mothers put honey in theirs. So let me know in the comment section below when you do this concoction, <laughs> what and what do you mix? Do you add honey? Do you not add honey? And for me who don't have honey, what can I replace it with? Like what can I substitute um, honey with? Because yeah, with honey there are lots of abaraba <laughs> before you find the original honey now by connection so that's why i just i i don't bother but anyway 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 once this is done i'm going to sieve it and i'm still going to drink this thing with them because me since i came back i've been doing the ginger and garlic one you cut up ginger cut up garlic put in the container pull water leave it overnight and drink the water that's the one i've been doing and I haven't been sick. I've been to the village. I've come back. I only felt ill like when these kids were falling ill. And I think it was from the lack of sleep, just stress. Obviously, immunity will be affected. And yeah, I found out that I had two pluses of malaria. And with tablets, it cleared off. So yeah, I've been doing this, but I didn't think that you can actually do something similar for kids. But yeah, let me know what your own mix um comprises of i really really need to know anyway if you absolutely enjoyed this particular vlog sincerely i know that this vlog started with enjoyment but i don't know how we're at this point where um, i i i can't really think i reason anymore just because my kids are ill but yeah look at me looking like suffering even this my trendy hairstyle i haven't even the plans i had with this hair at some point see just look one has even come out i may just end up just losing this hair but yeah it's been stressful it's been stressful this is the point where i say one person cannot do it one person, one person, hey, God, toilet to all single mothers. If you're a single mother doing this thing with 
even one child my god <laughs> hey kudos to you you're a superhuman because hey even though for my mom for my help for people around i for don't break down but anyway guys if you absolutely enjoyed this particular vlog don't mind how i look just excuse the way i look i'm going to be back and better after this week i know i'm going to be back and better i even added weight from stress eating and all of that anyway if you absolutely enjoyed this particular video give it a massive thumbs up subscribe and hopefully i see you guys in my next video i'm going to save this now when it's done it's just boiling let me show you guys really good too so yeah once they come back from school i'll be giving it to them at least two or three times a week yeah once this is done now i'll save it put it in a container and probably put it in the fridge just make it chill or should i leave it outside how do you guys preserve your own anyway let me let you guys go hopefully i see you guys in my next video for the